Good morning. Thanks for joining us. I want to share something I picked up from the Book of Mysteries by Jonathan Kahn. As always, there's a student and there's the teacher. I like object lessons and I, I like to use them. A few weeks back I used a feather as an object lesson. But I also kind of like sociological kinds of things where somebody asks you to do something. Well, in the Book of Mysteries, the student was asked to do something by the teacher and it was a hard lesson and it's one he was not soon to forget. The teacher asked him to go through the entire day wearing a backpack that was filled with stones. Everything he did that day, he said, was a burden, it was a strain, it wasn't easy, you can imagine. I hope you let him take it off at certain points of the day, but at the end of the day, the teacher came up to him and said, would you like to keep carrying it? Would you like to go another day or would you like to let it go? And the student's like, are, are you serious? It's like, I want to get rid of this thing. So he said, release it. And so the student did. So the teacher said, I know it wasn't a pleasant experience for you, but that's how many go through life. In the gospel, according to Luke, Jesus, the Messiah, told his disciples to forgive. Behind the word forgive in Greek is the word apaleo. When Pilate decided to release Barabbas from prison, behind the word release is the same word, apaleo. So when Messiah saw a woman suffering from a condition that caused her to be crippled for 18 years, he said to her, woman, you are loosed from your affliction. Well, you guessed it, you are loosed again. It's the same word, it's apaleo. In the Greek, it's the same term, translated different ways. And when the believers in Antioch sent Barnabas and Paul to begin ministry to the world, behind the phrase sent forth was again the same word, apaleo. So the student says, so what's the connection? What's, what's like the real meaning for this one word? The connection is this, apaleo, it does, it means to forgive but it also means to be released. If you don't forgive, you won't be released. You'll stay linked, bound, imprisoned. The same word that speaks of healing. Forgiveness is also connected to healing and a lack of forgiveness to a lack of healing. John talks in his first letter about may your souls, may your, your bodies prosper, may you have health even as your soul prospers. And so when we have unforgiveness in our life, it, it can affect a lot of different things in our physical body. Those who cannot forgive cripple themselves, and not just emotionally or psychologically or spiritually. They can literally cripple themselves. And the same word speaks of moving on or being sent forth with the purposes of God, like Barnabas and Saul were. So if you don't forgive, you won't be able to move on. You won't be able to let go of that which is old and you need to let go of. Nor will you be able to be sent forth into the full purpose that God has for your life. People have noted that I'm pretty quick to forgive. Uh, it's, I'm not saying I don't get upset at some things, but there are the big things in, in my life I've learned from other people and I've looked at it and I said, you know what, I'm gonna let go of this. I'm not, I'm not gonna carry this and I invite you to do the same. It's written, Forgive and you shall be forgiven. That's apaleo. It's as, it's as clear cut as carrying a bunch of rocks and stones on your back and somehow thinking that it's helpful to you. And some people I've heard them say, I just can't forgive. It's a choice of the will. We choose to forgive. Now let me also say this. If someone's offended you, a lot of times you might need to forgive again and again and again before it becomes real to you. But God wants you free from those things so that you can not only forgive, but you can be released and then you can be sent forth to really fulfill your destiny in Christ. One thing that will hold you back is failing to forgive other people. May you forgive even as Christ has forgiven you. God bless you. Have a great week.